what up ninja clan and welcome back to our youtube channel um today we are playing some disney lorcana ha, 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 ha. Oh. i need to get some uh sleeves that are a little more um happy my sleeves are happy like happy sleeves <laughs> Like, are they miserable? No. Do they just not enjoy playing the game? <laughs> this guy's just—he's so angry. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Today, Daddy Louie's playing an angry deck. It has attack eyebrows. <laughs> uh, we'll what see. deck are you playing today? Um, I am playing one of my favorite decks that I've ever played, um, oh. and one of your least favorite decks that I've ever played. Uh, oh, the good. deck formerly known as Lutz. Oh, go away. With a very slight modification, which I will <gasps> explain at the end of the game. Please tell me your slight modification makes the deck worse. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we'll find out, because uh, I just made I that hope change so. like two minutes ago. It's a change that um, I think you'll enjoy. I doubt it very much. <laughs> <laughs> What deck are you uh, going to so play? I'm, well, I'm playing a Ruby Emerald deck. It's an old deck that I've played before. It was a deck that I played that got me very furious. Uh, made me very angry. Made me almost as angry as the man on the back of your sleeves. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this deck is now renamed Too Fast, Too Furious. That's right. Mm. Uh, we're going to go through the entire franchise by the time I'm done with this deck. It's okay. got at least another... 1,000 tries to go. Yeah, at least. Uh, it also has a couple of modifications. Um, and I, I'm i not 100% on this, but I've got a horrible feeling that these are the decks we used the first... Did, did I did I play Fast and Furious against your Lutz deck? I, I don't know. Remember. I don't we'll have, have the lineup that. completely memorized. I don't think so, but it's possible. Is it not? Okay. We'll have a look. I'll, ch I'll go back and check and I'll put something up on the right screen. So you no, when know. I played Lutz... Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, you played Fast and Furious. <laughs> so this is the remake. This, this is, is the rematch. rematch of the century. Ding, ding. And we, we did right. not plan this, folks. No, we did not. <laughs> We're as surprised as you are. <laughs> All right. Too Fast, Too Furious. Rolls a two. <laughs> Five. Ah, I will let you go first. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep my hand. I think that's the first time I've ever done that in this game. I'm going to log in three. Boop, 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 boop. Breaking news, people. I've actually had a decent mulligan. I'm going to ink. Yago, and it's your turn. All right. I will ready, set, draw. The fact that I have to ink something really hurts my soul because my hand is quite good. But I have to ink. I'm going to ink oh. Bell, Inventive Engineer. And then I am going to, I guess, use it. I don't really need to, but I might as well. Uh, I'll spend that one to play the Scepter of Arendelle. Nice. Make sure it's on screen there. Um, Scepter of Arendelle ha is a item. Uh, it has an ability called Command. You can uh, exhaust this uh, card to give chosen character support for the turn. And support is whenever they quest, they add their power to another character for the turn. And that's my turn. You're, you're next. Uh, okay. I will draw. I uh, don't really want to, but I will. I'm going to ink Aladdin. Okay. Um, I'm going to spend one to play Shield of Virtue. Okay. So it's an item card. Uh, it has fireproof. So if I exert it and spend three ink, I can ready chosen character. They can't quest for the rest of this turn. Okay. Um, and it's your turn. All right. Ready, set, draw. I'm going to ink Tamatoa. Oh. Hurts my soul. Yeah. But I have to. And then I'm going to spend that to to play. One jump. Hell of mama. One jump. Honey. <laughs> oh. Be do. Be do. Be do. Be do. Be do. Um, and that's everything. <laughs> and that's everything. Uh, one jump ahead. <laughs> it lets me take the top card of my deck and put it face down in my inkwell exerted. So I will do that. And it is.
is your turn. Can I ask you a personal question? Absolutely. Why does your ink look so angry? <laughs> it, it's just matching the energy of the deck and the hand, which <laughs> those are all also very angry. Okay. Um, there's really not a lot I can do because you don't have anything on the board. This may be spoiling it slightly, but a lot of my cards require you to have stuff on the board <laughs> <laughs> to, to do anything. Um, uh, Sorry to hurt your feelings. I'm, you, I mean, you're ruining my game, man. Uh, <laughs> if it helps, I'm I'm clearly not very happy about it, or at least my deck's not. No, I, it's very angry. Uh, I, I just feel like playing certain cards when I just waste abilities. Uh, and it makes me upset. <laughs> well, uh, right, I don't know what okay. to tell you. <laughs> Let's ink the foo. <clears throat> Um, and then I'm going to spend that three to play Aladdin, taking you to minus one law. Um, and I take you to minus one law because he has Improvise, um, which when you play this character, each opponent loses one law. You don't have any law, so <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> but he's a 2-2 two -two character, and it is your turn. Great. Uh, I already... Set draw. Uh, I'm gonna ink the scepter <laughs> of Arendelle. Oh, okay, I thought you were playing another one. I was like, okay. And then I'm gonna spend four to play the Who's It's collector herself, Ariel. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, Ariel is a three-three. She quests for one, but she has an ability called Look at This Stuff. Whenever you play an item. You may ready this character. Uh, and it is not once per turn. No, it's not. It's broken. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm ready, set, and draw. Ho, ho, ho. Merry a Christmas. Your deck that's making you sad, I let you know, is also making me very <laughs> sad. Because I'm having to ink really good cards just to be able to do stuff because you're not playing anything that I want you to play. <laughs> <laughs> you said you um, wanted me to play a character, so I played a character. It, you did. Um, so there, <clears> there she is. It's, it's not helpful for me right now. Uh, I'm going to have to ink Cut to the Chase, which cuts my heart slightly. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, and then I'm gonna spend all four to play your friend and mine, Pongo. Oh boy! Ah yeah, uh, Pongo is a two-three. Uh, he has evasive, uh, which is a card I've never used before. Uh, so only characters with evasive can challenge this character, and he quests for two. And Aladdin will quest for one, putting me on the board. Okay, I see what you're doing there. No, you don't. You think you see, but I'm too fast, too fast, too furious. <laughs> if you say so. Yeah, I know. Sorry. <laughs> if you. It's been a long day. <laughs> say so. Um. Okay. Here is what we are going to do. Ariel is going to attack your Aladdin. Oh. What are her stats? Uh, she's a 3-3. Three, 3-3, three. Three, three. wow, okay. Uh, she takes two damage back. Okay. Oh, no, <laughs> that's not my discard pile. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, Let's see if I can just move this stuff over. Then for one, I'm going to play Magic Golden Flower. Magic Golden Flower is an item, so it will ready Ariel. Yeah. Uh, it has Healing Pollen. Banish this item to remove up to three damage from a chosen character. So she will... Oh, nice. Uh, I will banish that right away to heal Ariel. Yep. Then Ariel will quest... For one, which puts me okay. on the board. Does. Welcome to the party. Um, and then I'm going to spend two to play the Beast's Mirror. Uh, the Beast's Mirror is an item, so Ariel will ready. 
Uh, Beast Mirror <laughs> has an ability called Show Me. You can exert it and um, pay three ink. Uh, and if I have no cards in my hand, I can draw a card. <clears throat> um, I'm losing my voice. I don't know why I'm losing my voice. Um, You're playing Ariel. Did you sell your voice to the sea witch? Do you have legs? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> um, <laughs> Ariel will uh, quest for one. And it's of course you will. Why, thank you, my good man. Yeah, All can. right. I will ready, set, and draw. I'm going to ink Aladdin. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I am going to quest for two. Bringing me up to three. And then, um, in all honesty, I feel really bad for your deck. I really do. Um, so bad, in fact, that I think I should sing it a song. <laughs> and you know who's always good at singing songs and who knows everything you ever need to know? That's right, Mother. Because Mother knows best. <clears throat> And Mother Knows Best allows me to return a chosen character to the player's hand. So, Ariel can go back to your hand, if you would. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm actually going to exert that three ink, because I've paid for it. Um, but then, because I know you're in a very, very happy mood now, I'm going to let you have a turn. Mm. My deck is very angry. But I just sang to it, it should be happy now. It was a happy song. <laughs> oh, you think so? I don't think I so. know so. Because mother knows best. Not that I'm calling myself mother, because that's just weird. Um, I'm going to <laughs> ink Simba. I will tap or exhaust, exert, all those same <laughs> things. Uh, two to play Ransack. Ransack okay. lets me draw two cards and then discard two cards. One, two. Discard Ariel! <coughs> um, I am going to discard Ariel. Okay. Wow, that worked. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and... This got the best next card in your hand. I, I inked everything, right? I already inked, so I will. Uh, I think so, yeah. So I have to discard two. So I'll discard Ariel and I'll discard Simba. Okay. And it's your turn. I will ready. I will set. I will draw. So, yeah, I'm gonna pay three. I'm gonna play Aladdin Street Rat. Aladdin. He has this wonderful ability that allows you the privilege of losing one law. Wow. <laughs> so I go back to one. Back to one, yes, please. Um, And then Pongo will quest for two, bringing me to five. And I will allow you to have a turn. Great. Because I'm just such a nice guy. Uh, you, yes, 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 you are. <laughs> I'm going to ink Simba, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to pay for six to play... Oh, that's not good. Maurice. Hey. Uh, Maurice is the world-famous inventor. He is a 2-7 quests for two, and he has two abilities. The first is, give it a try. Whenever this character quests, you pay two less ink for the next item you play this turn. Um, and then he also has a ability called It Works, and it is whenever you play an item, you may draw a card. And that is not once per turn. Hmm. They don't um, like Maurice. And it's your turn. Uh, thanks. All right. I was ready. I was set. And I will draw. What was Maurice again? What was his, his attack and his defense? 2 7. Request for two? Yes. Okay. I'm going to ink Aladdin. Okay. And then 
I'm going to spend all six to play one of my favorite cards in this entire wave. Not even this deck, not even this color, the entire wave. The whole first chapter, one of my most favoritest cards, hashtag ever. <laughs> and it comes from one of my other favorite cards. So my other favorite card in this deck is Mother Knows Best. I love this song. It's a great, great song. And do you know what Mother does really well? Mm. Stops you from questing. Wonderful. So I'm going to play Mother Gothel. <clears throat> uh, and she helps you to skip the drama and stay with Mama. While this character is exerted, opposing characters cannot quest. Now, obviously, great. she's drying this turn. She can't do anything for you. But... She's there sitting pretty at a 3-6. Wonderful. <laughs> she is. She's such a good mama. Uh, <laughs> I'm very excited. And, uh, you have no idea. Uh, <laughs> and then Aladdin will quest for one, and Pongo will quest for two, taking me to eight. And it's your turn. Oh, boy. Ready, set, draw. Okay. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> uh -oh. More useful quests for two. Uh, so the next item I play will cost two less. So mm -hmm. for two... <laughs> uh, for two, I will play the Eye of Fates. Uh, yeah. The Eye of Fates uh, has an ability called See the Future. I can exert it to give chosen character plus one questing power for the turn. Um, and then for four, I'm going to bring out the collector of all these trinkets. Oh, there we yeah. Go. yeah, she is. Um, and it is your turn. Oh, okay. Because she can't, uh, she can't do anything. Oh, of course. So she is still drying. Which is quite funny, because she's a mermaid. So I would have thought she wouldn't want to dry off. That's also true. <laughs> Righty, set, draw. Uh, Very astute observation. Uh, we are going to challenge Maurice with Mother Gothel. Okay. How much damage does she She do? is exerted. Chosen character cannot quest next turn. Ariel is unable to quest next turn. Is it chosen character can't quest, or all characters can't quest? Uh, while this character is exerted, opposing characters... Oh, it's everyone! Yeah, it's all of my characters. No oh. one can quest. Well, then. Happy days and hallelujah. And okay. how much damage does she do? Uh, three. Three. Okay. So he has four <clears> left. <throat> uh, she has four left, yeah. Oh, he has four left? He has four yes. left. Sorry. Yeah, they both have four left. Sorry. <laughs> And then, just because I don't really like Maurice being on the board, <laughs> <laughs> Aladdin will also challenge Maurice for 2-2. Two, two. So that will take out Aladdin. And it'll take Maurice down by 2. Yep. So now he has 2 left. So have 2 off. left, right? Yep. Uh, and then, I'm going to spend 1 ink to stampede the rest of the snot out of Maurice. For two damage. Okay. And then... <laughs> uh, Pongo will quest for two. Put you to ten. And then... It's your turn. Hmm. I don't like what is happening now. My too engine fast, has been best, shut too down. Too furious. <laughs> um, I'll draw for This turn. is what this deck was supposed to do the first time. <laughs> Ariel is going to challenge Mother Gothel. Uh, what does she do? Uh, three. Three. <clears throat> and then I take two. Uh, right? Three. No, three. Oh. oh that yep, she's a three out. six. Thought she was a two six. Mm. Uh, that takes me to five, right? Yeah. Um, and then. For four, I'm going to play another aerial. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to ink the fishbone quill. Uh-huh. 
And then I'm going to spend three, because I have no cards in my hand, to use Beast ah. Mirror to draw a card. And it is your turn. I'm in big trouble. Right. I've already set and oh, one card. There we go. Draw. Oh, that is not what I wanted. Okay. I'm going to ink Shield of Virtue. Mm hmm. I'm going to spend all seven. Oh, no. And I'm going to play Mickey Mouse Artful Rogue. Mickey Mouse is a five, uh, six, five character. Sorry. Uh, he can shift for five. I don't have any Mickeys on the board, so I'm paying the full seven for him. And he has the ability Misdirection. So whenever you play an action, a chosen opposing character can't quest during their next turn. And he quests for two. Very good. And then... And, and I'll say, like we said at the start of the game, <clears throat> we did not know what decks we were bringing to this. <laughs> this is... A great deck for shutting your deck down because yeah. I'm taking things out and I'm stopping you from questing, which yeah. is I know exactly. It's what you want to do in every deck, right? It's quest right. well, but your deck particularly with whole items and right. nonsense, you know. Right. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna play it safe for this turn. Although you do have Ariel on the board, hmm. I'm okay. I'm gonna quest with Pongo for show. That takes me to twelve. Can't do anything with Mickey. Um, and I'm going to leave Mother Gothel as she is for the moment, and it is your turn. Okay. I'm going to ready everything. I'm going to draw a card. Okay. Um, I will I have the fates to give Ariel plus one. Uh -huh. And I will quest for two. This puts yep. me at five. Um and then for three I will play Bell, inventive engineer. Uh mm -hmm. so Bell is a two three, she quests for two, and she has like a weakened ability from Maurice. She has hers is called Tinker. And it says, whenever this character quests, you pay one less for the next item you play this turn. So Maurice is like two um, less. So Belle is only one yeah. less. And she doesn't let you draw a card <clears throat> like Maurice does. Yeah. Um, and then for two, I'm going to uh, just pay to play one jump ahead. Okay. And uh, that's it. That's all I can do. So that's right. your turn. I'm ready. I will set and I will draw. Okay, I'm gonna. Okay, so I'm gonna spend two. Because uh, whatever happens, I'm gonna play stolen cinematar. Okay. Uh, so stolen cinematar is an item. Uh, you exert it, and chosen character gets plus one this turn uh, to their attack. Uh, if the chosen name, if the, the character is named Aladdin, uh, then he gets plus two. I don't have Aladdin on the board. That's fine. I will. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna kind of leave you alone. Actually, um, <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's that it's that horrible moment, right? Where it's like, is it worth attacking your things and taking my stuff out in order to stop you questing when I could just be questing myself? Right. Um, I mean, you're already at 12, and you have 6 on the board, which would put you at 18. Yeah. So then I would 18, have to right. remove... I'd have to board at wipe least. you next turn. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Um, so that's pretty much exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to quest with Pongo for 2. Mm -hmm. I will quest with Mickey for 2. Yep. And I will quest with Mother Gothel for 2. Meaning you have to challenge me, because you cannot quest. Yep, that um, is exactly what I would do. And in fact, just for giggles, I am going to... Yeah. Okay, if I was going to do this turn over, which I'm not going to do, uh, what I probably would have done was attacked your aerial with Mickey and then use Shield of Virtue to ready him and then quest with him. But what I'm going to do is just spend three... But Shield of Virtue won't let you do that. Because you can't quest after Oh, because I can't it. quest after. Right, so yeah. you'd have to quest but I'm gonna first. 
Yeah, so I'm going to quest with him. Uh, then I'm going to spend three to ready him. So now you have to attack Mother Gothel. If you want to attack at all, that is. Uh, and it's your turn. Ready everything. Draw for my turn. For three. No, I can't do it in that order. All right. Uh, shoot. I'm sorry, Bill. Oh, I can't. How much health does Mother Gothel have left? Uh, one. One. Um, but she hits for three. Yeah. I'm going to have to sacrifice Bell to take out Mother Gothel. Um, now I can quest. So I now you will... can quest, yeah. Uh, although it won't matter because you'll win next turn anyway. But I will give Bell. Or, I'm sorry, I'll give Ariel an extra uh, lore. Uh, lore. Mm -hmm. She will quest, which will give me... Uh, uh, seven? Seven. And then for two, I will play Coconut Basket. Uh -huh. Play it over here. I know you guys can't see it on the camera, but it's there. <laughs> um... Coconut Basket is uh, has an ability called Consider the Coconut, and it says whenever you play a character, you may remove up to two damage from a chosen character. So basically every time you play a character, you get to heal something that's on the board. Yeah. Um, I mean, you should have said, I'd have left Mother Gothel up there for you. <laughs> um, and then... Ariel gets to ready because I played a item. An item, yep. Um, then I'll spend three to use Beast Smear because I have no cards in my hand. Mm -hmm. Let's me draw a card. Really, really useless card right now, guys. Like of all <laughs> the cards you could give me, this is one of the worst. Um. Yeah, I mean, this is what I would do. I would do it again to give me two more. Yep. Which is nine. And then, um, because it's the only thing in my hand and it won't matter anyway, I'll play it for two, uh, one jump ahead. <laughs> which, again, at this point, is useless. Yep. And it's your turn. <laughs> All right. I will ready... I will set, and I will draw. Okay. I don't want you to feel bad, okay? Okay. Because if you had wiped my board, it would not have mattered. Um, <laughs> I'm going to spend three to play Abu. Uh, Abu is a vanilla character. He's a 3-2, but he quests for two. A little part of me kind of wants to take Ariel out before I win. I'm not going to lie. Mm. And I'm just going to do the math in my head really quick because I don't want to like <laughs> do something really stupid and lose me the game. Yeah, okay. you, can, you can hit her with Mickey Mouse and then quest with Pongo. I could, but I really want to quest with Mickey. So. I mean, I can't lose, right? I'm questing with Mickey. I'm going to win. So I'm, right. I'm going to, because I really want to quest with Mickey, because I never really get to play this card. I play Pongo all the time. I exert Stolen Scimitar to give Pongo plus one, which makes him a 3-3. Three, three. Okay. So uh, and then Pongo will out. charge into Ariel. They'll take each other out. He's off in the corner eating a fish uh, in his bowl. And then the Artful Dodger himself, Mickey Mouse, with quest for two. Giving me game. Woohoo! Hey, oh, you can't see it. It's very exciting. I have game. <laughs> no! It's there. I promise, guys. It's there. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh. Oh, yes. That felt good. I enjoyed that game. <laughs> that was my favorite game in a long time. <laughs> that was, um... Yeah, that was brutal. You had, um... Mother Gothel is just a great counter to what I'm doing oh. in this deck. Yeah. 
And it was that moment where I realized when like when you said what deck you were playing, and I was like, oh, if only I can get her out. And then I drew her in my opening hand. Yeah. And it was just like, do you know what? Even though I'm having to ink like all my Aladdins, which are the ones that take low away from you. Yeah. My my battle plan is very simple, right? Ink whatever you've got, get Mother Gothel out. Yeah. Happy days. Um and then I drew into Mickey Mouse and his thing about as well. I was like, and that's when I kind of started not worrying so much about Mother Gothel. Because if I play an action, he, yeah. So I was like, I'll play him because I've got the seven ink. I was kind of hoping to draw into a steamboat Mickey because I've got some of those in the deck. So I could shift him for five instead of paying the full seven. Yeah. But it was also that kind of thing. Once I've got seven ink, I may as well just play him. Um, but yeah, I mean, 1000% MVP for me, Mother Gothel. Yeah. Yeah, 1000%. Yeah. For me, I don't really and have. I, think... I, I mean, I'd probably go with Maurice just because uh, he was such a threat on the board that you had to exert a lot yeah. of resources to get rid of him. So it kind of yeah. gave me a little bit of time to try and keep building. But. Uh, by that point, you had a really nice board, and you had me locked down pretty good. And when Ariel can't quest, she has to attack. That that's yeah. not a good day. So uh, I will say that the change I did make a two card change today um, before we played, and the change that I made was that I added two more. Um, Gosh, can I get one here? I added two more aerials. <laughs> so the last time aerials, that we yeah. played, I only had two. And yeah. uh, I picked up an extra two because I wanted a play set because she's just <laughs> so good. And yeah. um, an even aerial couldn't save me today from the grips of Mother Gothel. Yeah. She knows uh, best. I, I keep telling you, she knows best. Um. But I will say this, had I been playing any other deck, I do not think I would have done so well. I guess we'll never know until we play this again. This is true. Yep. <laughs> and you announce you're playing that one, and I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> I also think the fact your deck is so angry doesn't help. I, um, I think you've got it... bad vibes all Why around, man. so angry, just... bro? <laughs> Why are you so sad? Why are you so sad? Angry, <laughs> uh, well, I, I will say, it crushed me to have to ink Yago first turn. Oh, yeah. I mean, we all know how much I love this card. And yeah. getting Ariel to do Rush every single turn would have been so much fun for me. Yeah. Um, And all the cards I in my opening hand, like the ones I could play straight away, were all ones like Aladdin, like lose a law, but you didn't have any. Right. And I had LeFou, which was like, when you play this character, ready chosen character, they can't quest for the rest of the turn. Like, a part of me was dying to use that on Ariel. Um, <laughs> it's like, it's like, yeah. Then I've got like chosen character gains Rush, for example, uh, Ward and all that kind of stuff. And it was like, you're not playing the cards I need you to play for me to actually have any effect with the cards I'm using. Yeah. I feel that. But it's okay, because I still won, so. <laughs> and that's what's important. <laughs> and that's the important thing. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm really quite happy. I mean, I made a couple of changes to this deck. So the, the last time I played this deck... Uh, if anyone remembers, uh, I drew into a lot of high cost cards in the opening hand, or I mulliganed into a lot of high cost cards. Yeah. Um, the the change I basically made in this deck was I took out a lot of high cost cards, um, because I was like, if I draw into those or I mulligan into them again, it just stops this deck dead. Um, like like the whole idea behind this card, uh, this deck, is to get characters out really quickly. Mm -hmm. um, and the characters you get out are to stop you from doing things. So the, the element is fast, fast paced, um, getting stuff out and basically making you furious that you can't do anything on your turn. <laughs> yeah. And it worked out. It did. Thank you. Mother Gothel. We salute you. Indeed. Indeed <laughs> we do. 
when you're playing with her, not against her. Yes. Yes. Please don't ever put one of these in your deck. <laughs> not against us. <laughs> nope. You can do it against your friends. That's okay. Yeah, that's true. That's very true. Yeah. All right. Would you like to uh, say anything before we go? Absolutely. Uh, we appreciate you guys' support. Uh, make sure to like, follow, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. We also have a Patreon where we post uh, some games uh, like these, um, and you'll wanna you'll wanna watch those. So we appreciate the support over there as well. We do. Um, yeah, and for me as well, thank you very much for joining us today. From the man with no loots, Daddy Louie. <laughs> the man whose mother knows best, the Atomic Ninja G. You guys have been awesome, and this has been one of my favourite games of Disney Locana. No <laughs>